Biolante, Destroya, Gigan. Will any of these be the next villain? In the next MonsterVerse film, there will be a new threat that will jeopardize the existence of both Titans and mankind. Today on Goji Center, we will take into account many clues that can potentially reveal who exactly will be the next big bad kaiju. If you enjoy these episodes and want to be well informed in the next MonsterVerse films, then don't just sit there, subscribe! Coming up, the next potential villain in the MonsterVerse. But first, let's talk about some other cool beasts, warriors, and mythical creatures that take form as legendary champions, all at your disposal in Raid Shadow Legends, our sponsor. To download, hit the link below or scan this to play on both mobile and PC. So back to the champs, a lot of these 700 plus champions take the form of massive beasts and monsters, such as this weird looking thing known as Duodan the Runic from the brand new Sylvan Watchers faction. Rather than building a city on the ground or in a cave, these guys made their home in Mistwood, a scary, unforgiving territory where you will be at the mercy of the Sylvian, who along with the Dwarves and Shadowkins make up the Neresian Union. This new faction doesn't just have beasts, but also legendary unique champion designs. But there's more! This new year, Raid now unleashed the new Forge Pass season, the Plarium Points Program, where you can earn in-game goodies including a legendary champion. Later this year, we will witness Raid's fourth anniversary Titan event, which is a marathon that will last several weeks where you'll be able to earn some seriously epic stuff. Want more champs? In the Champion Select event, you'll get to vote on your favorite starter champ by going to championselect.plarium.com and entering your player ID. You have until February 10th to vote and have the opportunity to win epic legendary champs, in-game items, and even Amazon gift cards worth up to 1,000 bucks! Existing players can head to the website, use this promo code, and get a small in-game gift. Oh, and Rhonda is on here too. Yeah, she's made a leap to the world of Raid and took the form of a champion. You'll get access just by playing seven days before February 20th. Use promo code RAIDRONDA to get stuff to level her up. Enter the promo code and you'll see all the goodies in your inbox. Also, all new players can use this link or scan this and you'll get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot also found in your inbox. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video, and now let's get back to the episode. Okay, so there are many things to take into account when trying to figure out who exactly is this next villain, and what he will look like. In order to do this, we must first begin by ruling out who will not show up in the next film, and working backwards by discussing attributes that will be needed to counter both Godzilla and Kong. Please keep in mind that this video is pure speculation and should not be regarded as official or anything of the like. Let's begin by addressing some of the speculations that have been circling around regarding the identity of the next villain, Violente, Gigan, and Destroya. Let's review a phrase from the film's synopsis released not too long ago. It states, An all-new cinematic adventure betting Kong and Godzilla against a colossal undiscovered threat hidden within our world, challenging their very existence and our own. The adjectives to look out for are colossal, undiscovered, and the phrase hidden within our world. So, let's see which of these fits the description. Starting with Biollante, we know that this creature is in fact colossal, dwarfing Godzilla in terms of size. One could say that it could have been hidden or undiscovered, but the problem is that according to the old lore, this was technically an amalgamation of Godzilla, plant, and human DNA. Which means that in order for Biollante to exist, this required human intervention, which would automatically rule out the fact that it was unknown or undiscovered. So, unfortunately, Biollante, or at least a kaiju named Biollante, is highly unlikely. What about Gigan? This monster, according to its lore, is a titan that is of cyborgian nature, meaning that it is half creature and half machine. This animal also comes from extraterrestrial origins and not native to planet Earth. It was huge, but not too big to warrant the adjective of colossal. Also, keep in mind that whatever villain shows up in this next film, it will have to be big enough to face both Godzilla and Kong. So what does this all mean? Because the synopsis specified that this was a colossal threat that was hidden within our world, this automatically rules out any creature that comes from an extraterrestrial source, much less a cyborg who had to be the result of another intelligent species sending it to our planet. As much as we like Gigan, it's just not likely that we will see him yet. The MonsterVerse is yet to point out to outer space, so perhaps there's still hope in the distant future. But what about the next creature, Destroya? 
Now here's where things get interesting. Unlike the previous two contenders, this Titan actually fits the description for most of these adjectives. How? According to its lore, this guy was one of the largest and most powerful antagonists in Godzilla history, armed with abilities that will fit the description of the colossal threat mentioned in the synopsis. This guy was also unknown to mankind until after its first appearance in this smaller form. So, is this enough evidence to suggest that Destroya will be the next villain? No, and here's why. Don't forget that the existence of this monster was a result of a weapon known as the Oxygen Destroyer. Once its chemical attributes mutated Precambrian organisms on the ocean strata, these formed deadly organisms that leveraged a power to the effects of the Oxygen Destroyer, meaning that the existence of Destroya is a result of a human-caused event, not something that was hidden inside the world, or in this case, the Hollow Earth. He's colossal, he was hidden, and it's no doubt that a modern version of Destroya would be more than enough to face the two Alpha Titans. But since this is an Origins film, inserting a human-instigated kaiju back into the early timeline wouldn't make sense. Especially since the Oxygen Destroyer was detonated in 2019, not millions of years ago. In the MonsterVerse, almost all cave paintings carry some weight when it comes to the lore and the history of the Titans. There is one finding in particular that has caught the attention of many and leads us to speculate that there is another Godzilla-like creature lurking about. This image. Fun fact, this image was actually going to be seen in Godzilla vs. Kong, but was ultimately cut from the story due to heavy edits. We aren't exactly sure what this thing is, or was, but the fact that it resembles a Gojira makes us think that this would actually be a creature that shares at least some attributes with the G-Man. So, in our analysis platform, we will collect all this evidence and list it here. At the end of this episode, we'll make an educated guess on what this creature looks like, or at least discuss some of its potential attributes. Right now, we settled that this animal has some Gojira-esque attributes, so perhaps part reptilian. Another interesting attribute is its ability to fly. Keep in mind that this image may or may not be an exact representation of what this animal looks like, but rather it may illustrate what it can do. And here it's depicting its ability to fly. This would make a lot of sense, especially since this kaiju has to have some sort of clear edge against two excellent ground combatants. And being in the air has always proved to be a definitive edge against Godzilla and Kong. What else? We see here that this animal does in fact have some sort of special ability, most likely another version of Godzilla's atomic breath, if not the same or more lethal. So, apart from potentially being able to fly, this thing can now shoot from a distance. And lastly, what other Godzilla-like creature has been seen to fly in the classic films? Wait, no, not this thing. <laughs> We're talking about this kaiju. That's right, Space Godzilla. Now, we know what you're thinking. How on earth would Space Godzilla fit the description of something that has been hiding inside the planet, not outer space? That's a valid question, but hear us out. Perhaps this villain will have some attributes of Space Godzilla, since it's the only Godzilla-like creature, apart from this one, that can actively fly. Perhaps not in this form. Having said this, it's also likely that this creature will not be called Space Godzilla, but rather something else. Perhaps the most notable physical attribute of Space Godzilla is its set of crystals set upon its shoulders. Now, realistically, we think that the MonsterVerse version of a crystallized Godzilla would look a little less silly, which makes us believe that this crystalline attribute will most likely be present in this villain's body in some way or form. But what else? Space Godzilla has been seen to harness energy from surrounding crystals. Similarly, it is also possible that this super powerful creature will also be able to absorb power from from the energy-rich Hollow Earth, making this Titan all the more stronger. A perfect opponent for two Alphas. Now, lastly, we do have to go back a little bit and mention that Biolante is in fact part Godzilla as well. So, since we are entertaining the idea that this animal will be called something else other than a Toho monster, it's not far-fetched to think that this new kaiju might also have some attributes present in Biolante. Perhaps it's plant nature or an ability to morph into the surrounding elements. 
The most notable attribute of Biollante is its several mandible-tipped tentacles. If this new threat has these, then it would make it difficult to fly. Unless it is capable of morphing into different forms. Yeah, this thing might be getting a little bit too crazy. But what we are looking at here is perhaps the most powerful titan of all time. Something that requires Godzilla, Kong, and maybe human intervention to bring down. So, what will this animal end up looking like? The best we can do right now is create a very generalized silhouette of a Godzilla-like creature capable of flight, able to spit atomic breath or similar, excellent melee capabilities, a colossal figure, perhaps some crystallization on its body, and lastly, perhaps the most important attribute, its intelligence. In order to be a worthy opponent for two extremely intelligent titans, this animal will have to be able to outsmart Godzilla and even Kong. Basing off this new villain's opponents, we'll have to guess that this new kaiju will have to display levels of intelligence unlike the world has ever seen. Its brain alone would have to be powerful enough to trigger strange phenomena. Perhaps telepathy, just like Space Godzilla. Whether this telepathy takes the form of moving objects or telling other titans what to do, or reading their mind, is unknown. What is certain is that both Godzilla and Kong will be in for a nasty surprise, whatever that may be. This new colossal kaiju will remain nameless until we get further info, but while you wait, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell and like icon, and go subscribe to the Beast Hub while you're at it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.